Bella. Oh, because the writing show, the writing show, the writing show. What show? The writing show, the writing show. The writing show. To say son of a bitch, the same of you who hates most Nintendo shit. I'm the one who calls games for what they are. I even own a 360 and hate Gears of War. Got me spends his money on games, fucking cards. Just a funny guy who became a YouTube star. Look for the Here we go, it's the widest show. I know you like the sound of this. I know you love this style of this. Now sit back, here comes the widest show. All I gotta say is I love the word bitch. Remember me still hating on Nintendo shit. All I gotta say is I love the word bitch. Remember me still hating on Nintendo shit. Later on charge ships on Gears of War. Now I don't gotta say I hate it no more. Woo! Same review who loves to say son of a bitch became a YouTube star. Still don't own the car. Huh? You wanna review? You don't gotta look far. Once again, these sites ain't on. Why? 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 A lot of people always ask, um, how do you make reviews successful? Um, a lot of people are just starting YouTube and trying to get more. And, I mean, I'm not the most successful guy ever, but I'm, I'm just here to give you some tips so that when you ask me on my PMs, I can just give you this video. Um, first off, real fast, you want to have a capture card because that's the most important thing probably um, is people want to see footage in HD. I suggest uh, either the Elgato or the HP VR2. Um, they're both HDMI now and very easy to find. Um, I'll even put links of Amazon to buy them. They're in the info bar. Um, that would be your first thing you want to get, and that's pretty expensive. So you gotta understand that this this reviewing thing takes both time and it's a little bit expensive at the beginning, but not too much at the end, except if you want to buy every single new game. Um, the second thing you want to do once you have the video footage is have a decent mic. Now this isn't the best. Uh, example, I'm using my shitty headset mic instead of the one I use for reviews, but the one that I use for reviews is downstairs, and I don't want to go all the way downstairs, but you can watch one of my reviews to get an idea of how the mic works. Um, now, the, sec the, the, the third thing, and after you got the mic and you got the good um, recording stuff, is get some good um, ideas for the review. Now, every, there's a lot of people that like to review. Um, and you want to kind of have your own little gimmick, you know, or, or not so much a gimmick, but your own style. You, you don't want to be like everybody else. Um, and my style has changed throughout the years. I started very basic having a camera, like a little video camera, pointing to the screen while reviewing the game while playing it. And that was my original style. Um, I then broke it up into sections like story, graphics. That was a big style for a while. And now I'm switching all over to... Um, basically giving a rundown, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly, and then giving my verdict of if you should rent it, buy it when it's cheap, throw it away, steal it from a friend, or it's amazing, buy right now. Um, so your style will probably change throughout the years because you'll get a little bored of the style that you're using. And again, some fans will leave because they don't like the new style. Some fans will stay. Some fans, you'll get new fans just because uh, you're trying a new style. Um, and it really just comes down to enjoying what you're doing. You know, if you don't enjoy doing a certain review style, don't do it anymore. Do it the way you want. Don't try to be funny if you don't like to be funny. You know, I watch certain reviewers because they're funny. I watch certain reviews because they're serious. I watch certain reviewers because they're giving me a lot of information, so on. So if you're not funny, don't try to be funny. If you're not good at being serious, don't be serious. If you're not that great in information like myself, don't try to stuff all this crazy information and use all these different names. I can't do that shit. I'm going to give you a rundown of the game I just played. I can't remember motherfucking number five's name. You know, he died like halfway through the game. I don't remember him. So I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to go over the basic story and give you my opinion, break down the gameplay mechanics, because that's what I can do best. So stick to your strengths of what you do best. Um... And those are really the three main factors you need. Good footage, good sound, and your own style. Now, little things like making sure you get clips of certain parts that make sense to what you're talking about. Even I'm not that great at it. It's really hard, um, especially if you try and talk about glitches in games. You sometimes don't get good glitch footage. Um, on top of that, uh, another thing you definitely want to focus on is being consistent. Uh, don't, don't put out one review a month. People want more than that. You know, I'm not saying you have to go crazy like... Some months I put out only like four reviews because that's all I can afford to review at the moment. But I, I make sure that they're good reviews. You know, once in a while I'll put out a review that's subpar and I just put it out because I played the game really fast. Something like Persona 4 Gold, uh, not Persona 4 Gold and Persona Arena. Um, and that's just because I get lazy. And uh, you shouldn't follow that example. You should try your best 
to put it and uh, uh, put in as much work as you have. And again, the most important thing, in my opinion, is have fun with this. This is this is YouTube where you get to be your own creator, you know. And you want to have fun. Don't try to please everyone. And that's something that I've always always followed. I never play a game and think, oh man, this sucks. But I can't say it sucks because people are not going to agree. Fuck that. Okay, do your own style. Be who you want and review this fucking game the way that you see fit. I have never, ever, ever, ever changed my review score just based on people's other people's opinions. You know, Killzone 2, it's still a fucking 7 out of 10 at best. You know, Tekken 6, what a piece of shit single player. I still don't give a fuck if people disagree with me. That's the thing. Don't let the viewers change your opinion. It's okay if a viewer says, hey, fix your audio. That's that's a good criticism. They tell me that I'm trying to fix that. I think I've gotten a little better in the last few reviews. Uh, if they tell you they they don't like um, the way that you don't have enough video clips of what you're talking about, that's a good criticism. Stuff like that. But if a viewer tells you you don't know shit about fucking tech and go die, tell him this: suck my dick. You are blocked. It's really simple. I promise you that that one person who's blocked, you will gain two or three other subscribers. Trust me. So, um, that's really it. Those are the fundamentals of creating YouTube videos, in my opinion, especially reviews. So, it's up to you if you want to do it that way, but those are the, my guidelines. Those are the way I make my videos, and it seems to work for the most part for me, um, and I have fun doing it. So, there you go. Guides to making YouTube reviews on video games. Whitey out. Hope you enjoyed. And, um, any questions, leave below, and I'll try to answer them.